IDF announces 13 soldiers lost their lives. Hamas terrorists attempt to infiltrate Israel through a tunnel. UN says they are concerned over the situation in Gaza. And anti-Israel Jordanians stage a pro-Gaza rally. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Today is Monday, July 21st, and we are bringing you the latest on the IDF offensive in Gaza, Operation Protective Edge. The IDF announced on Sunday that 13 Israeli soldiers from the Golani Brigade had been killed since Saturday night in fighting in Gaza, bringing the total number of military fatalities in Operation Protective Edge to 18. Seven of the 13 soldiers' names were released for publication, including Major Tzafrir Bar Or, 32 from Cholon, Captain Svika Kaplan, 28, from Kibbutz Merav. Staff Sergeant Max Steinberg from California, California age 24. Staff Sergeant Moshe Malko, 20, from Jerusalem. Sergeant Gilad Yakobi, 21, from Kiryat Ono. Sergeant Oz Mandelovich, 21, from Avtalion. And Sergeant Nisim Sean Carmeli, 21, from Ranana. The military was still completing the process of identifying the remaining fallen soldiers and notifying families. After the deaths were announced, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu held a press conference alongside Defense Minister Moshe Ya'alon, sending condolences to those affected by their deaths. I want to tell you that אנחנו נשלים את המשימה שבה הם החלו. אנחנו נחזיר את השקט והביטחון לדרום, למרכז ולכל חלקי הארץ. In the latest in Operation Protective Edge, which is now in its 14th day, two terrorist attack cells entered Israel from a northern Gaza smuggling tunnel this morning. They were identified by IDF lookouts and an aircraft was dispatched to intercept them. The first cell was struck from the air and 10 of its members were killed and the second cell fired an anti-tank missile at a military vehicle. The Shin Bet sent an alert to the IDF hours before the attack, warning of intentions of terrorists in northern Gaza to infiltrate the country. IDF ground forces continued to advance to positions in the northeast Gazan Shaja'iya area overnight and took part in heavy exchanges of fire with terrorists in the area. An army unit killed 10 terrorists in exchanges of fire, and three soldiers were injured. A number of tunnels have been found in the area, and Hamas attempted to hinder the IDF's tunnel destruction work by opening fire on the army. The UN Security Council expressed serious concern on Sunday at the escalation of violence in the Gaza conflict. While meeting to discuss almost two weeks of fighting between Israel and Hamas that has cost more than 400 lives, the members of the Security Council called for respect of the international humanitarian law, including protection of civilians. Jordan requested the meeting after more than 60 Palestinians and 13 Israeli soldiers were killed as Israel shelled Gaza's Shaja'iyah neighborhood and battled militants in the bloodiest fight in the 13-day offensive. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, who is in the Middle East in a bid to help broker a ceasefire, condemned the latest deaths as, quote, an atrocious action and called for an immediate end to the fighting. Hundreds of mainly Islamist Jordanian protesters burnt Israeli flags in Amman on Sunday in protest of civilian deaths in Gaza since the beginning of the operation. Demonstrators called on Palestinian Hamas militants to step up rocket attacks against Israeli towns and cities to avenge deaths caused by the offensive. Protesters near the Israeli embassy in Amman's affluent Rabia district chanted, quote, death to Israel in one of the biggest public outpourings of anger against Israel in the last few years. Hundreds of protesters also demanded the government shut the Israeli embassy and scrap Jordan's peace treaty with the Jewish state. That's all for today. Check out jpost.com and our Facebook page for more on the escalating tensions in Gaza. Until tomorrow, shalom from the Jerusalem Post studio.